owner of single family property in Champaign. And then later on, I'll narrow it down to Southwest Champaign. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do that. Probably you go by street names because um, I am able to do that. Uh, I, I am able to identify the street names. So anyway, maybe that will be a different video. So this that's the information I want to gather. Now, I couldn't imagine doing that manually. It would take months. So here's how we use technology. So I have Mozenda already downloaded. And um, it's a very intuitive interface. Um, I'm not getting paid for this or anything. I just, I'm just really impressed by this. So I, I mean, if I were to give it a grade, it'd be a, an A plus for sure, especially compared to the other screen scrapers out there. Anyway, so I already have this set up. I'm not going to go through how I set it up. Literally, all I did was watch one tutorial. Took me maybe 20 minutes to learn this and I'll just go through it real quick just to show you what it does so you remember I mean just think just think if you were to take all this information and maybe copy and paste this into a word document or whatever or, or write it down that's even worse so just think about going through all these one by one you know Anthony and then you got Grace here and then you got you got Sharon and, and James so anyway Here's what Mozinda will do for you. So I'll just go ahead and run a test here. And it's pretty cool the way it shows the output. Because it'll show you here's the page that lists all the brief descriptions of the property. And here on the right side, it shows you how it's going through and clicking each of these and then scraping the data as I told it to. So so here's the Here's the uh, here's the best part. Yeah, check it out. I know you like it. I do too. So you see it in action, and I just sit back, you know, walk away from the computer. If I'm talking about eighteen thousand records or so, it may take I don't know an hour. So actually, it probably take longer than that. But anyway, I mean, it does it on its own. You know, I come back from, from eating snacks, kicking back, drinking a brew, whatever you whatever you want to do, whatever your vice is, right? So then I come back and you can take this information and you can dump it in a Excel document. If once you get it in an Excel document, then the possibilities are endless. I mean then you can set up a mail merge. Uh, if you know what that is, that's basically uh, a feature within Microsoft Word. Whereas it could take this information and automatically put it into a Microsoft Word document where it fits to make each letter personalized. To where it would say, Hey Anthony, I want to buy your house at, I don't know what the address was, but 123 Main Street in Champaign, Illinois. Please call me at 217 blah blah blah. And then it would say the same for Grace and so on. So you can set up a mail merge or you can say, Hey, I don't want to set up a mail merge. I want to. I'm just going to send this CSV to my VA, our virtual assistant, and have them handwrite the envelopes. You know, so they'll actually, you know, maybe I'll set up a yellow letter campaign. And do it that way, handwritten legal pad uh, letters. Or if you really want to get advanced, you may take that CSV and dump it into a SQL Server database, and then run queries against against your data, and maybe find, uh, maybe run your own queries like Melissa data, and say, all right. I want to get a list of properties that have a building value between 100,000 and 150,000 that are all on Dale Drive and have a zip code of 61820 and I want you to exclude all the property owners who have a last name of Brown and then there you go there you got an, a customized list I mean that's if you probably wouldn't find any benefit to this video if you know all that stuff because you, you know way too much but that can be done so anyway, that's pretty much my little brief demonstration of what this can do. I think it's awesome, and technically it's free, because the free trial is just that. Um, so that's that, and um, before I leave, I want to run a little idea past you. I was thinking, I mean, of course, this only took me 20 minutes. Maybe I'm biased. I mean, I do have an IT background. 
but it only took me 20 minutes to do even if I didn't know that much about computers literally there's so much documentation and those videos are so um, they're so descriptive and the software is so intuitive that you could pick it up I mean if you do, if you know how to get online and get on YouTube you could probably pick well if you know how to do slightly advanced things on a computer you could pick this up but if you don't even feel like messing with it sometimes that happens maybe you got better things to do better use of your time then I think that uh, we could barter now I'm starting out so I, I really get tired of paying for stuff all the time but there's a lot of things that are very easy or come come natural for me to do such as this that I could I could perform this service for you if you're in Tampa if you're in St. Louis if you're in Houston and you want the the uh, homeowner information or the, the rental property information or or even some commercial information uh, within your county then hey I can set this up for you in exchange what I would ask is maybe something that comes natural to you maybe you have a marketing background and you can you can whip up a, a, a nice flyer or maybe you have a graphic design background and you can you can do the same thing well, let me think of something else um, hey maybe you can post some Craigslist ads for me 30 cents a pop is what the going rate is but if I do this for you maybe you can do that for me or maybe you're good at writing articles uh, maybe you're a retired retired realtor or something like that and now you're an investor and you have all this wealth of information about the real estate industry um, in general write me some articles up I can do this for you I mean the possibilities are endless so if that sounds interesting to you then I'm opening the doors please contact me you can um, email me at justin at schwapps that's s-c-h-w-a-p-s dot com or you can get at me at facebook i don't know what the address is um, i think it's just facebook justin mcclellan yeah so you can get at me at facebook dot com slash justin dot mcclellan or you can get at me on twitter which is the same thing twitter actually okay twitter dot com slash swaps so anyway get in touch with me that's all for now thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it peace out Looking to the mirror